Hey everybody, this is Dre, uh, your Jeep expert at ID Chrysler. Today I will be showing you how to take the doors and the tops off your 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Okay, so first things first is you're going to want to find your Torx toolkit, which you can find in the glove compartment of your Jeep, um, either in the Wrangler or Gladiator. Ours is just right in the center console there. So basically this is your Torx toolkit. This is all the tools you'll need to take off the tops and doors. Okay. First things first, is I like to start with the doors, it just makes it a little bit easier. So what you're going to want to do is find this bolt here, the bigger one, and that'll go right here for the doors. Go ahead and put it inside your deal. And one thing I like to do is always keep my finger behind this here because if you do come off the bolt you will scratch the paint. So once ever you do have these two bolts out what you're going to want to do is pop the door open and you're going to want to roll the window either halfway down or all the way down. In this case I'll roll it all the way down. Your next step here is you're going to want to switch out the um, tool piece to the smaller one and that's going to be for the door stop inside the door. Other than that there's this little plastic piece that does come off and what you're going to want to do is unhook the wiring harness from the door and to do that you just flip up the red tab. There's a little black tab underneath this white piece, pull that in and then you just push this up and then it'll disconnect the wiring harness, pull the door in just a little bit, unhook it from the safety hook and then take your wiring harness, throw it right in the door. Right, so once you have everything taken off the door, one thing you're going to watch out for is that since this is no longer on this safety hook here, the door will open all the way and you want to make sure that the door doesn't close because if this door stop does go in the door, you're going to need something nice and strong to pull it out. Um, otherwise, just keep your bolts close to you. Um, in the back seat here, there is a spot for the bolts. And in every Gladiator, they're going to have them underneath the driver's seat, behind the driver's seat there. Um, otherwise, in a Wrangler, it's going to be in the back hatch area. Okay. So now that everything is taken off the door, make sure that the wiring harness is in this little pouch. And then what you want to do here is just lift up. All right, so that's how you take the door off. You're going to want to come back to the second door and it's going to be the exact same thing. So these two bolts here and then the door stop as well. And then in the middle here in the plastic area, you do have this that pops off and it'll let you get to your wiring harness in the back seat here. This one's a little bit different from the first one. This one is just a small little tab that you pull in and um, pull out. Okay, so once you have everything taken off, all you're gonna wanna do is just slide up and then pull away and that door is off. All right, and then when you have the door off, this panel here just pops right back into place. Just line it all up, push it back in. All right, so another thing too, with taking off the Freedom Tops is the easiest tops to remove on the Jeep Wrangler or the Jeep Gladiator. Um, if you don't have time to take the doors off, you could always just take the tops off here and have a big open sunroof. Um, but first thing you want to do here is pull this sun visor down. There's this little latch you're going to want to pull down and you're going to want to twist all these little lockable deals the opposite way. And then you just lift up and just like that, easiest tops to remove. All right, so now that all the doors are off and the Freedom Tops are off, the last step is going to be taking off the back part of the top. Um, there's going to be a bolt right here on this side and one bolt on that side and as well on the inside. Okay, so pull the seat down here and then take your key and then you're going to put it in this tab here and then this pops off 
So that way you can take the wiring harness off. So you're going to want to pull this red tab down and push this black pin in. And then that'll release the wiring harness. And then you just fold it in here and pop this right back on. All right, so the wiring harness is off. Now we just have to remove this bolt, that bolt, and then these four bolts here as well. Depending on what trim level you do have, you will not have this Velcro piece on the back. All right, so now that all the bolts are out, what you're gonna wanna do is flip the seat back up and then place them in the storage spot for them in the back seat. Okay, so now that you have all the bolts undone, the top is ready to come off. It is recommended that you do have another person with you or three people um, all together. So we'll start by just pulling this right off. All right, so then once you're all done with that, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you put all your tools back in your Torx tool set and put it back in the glove compartment. And then another thing I forgot to mention is that whenever you do take the doors and tops off, make sure that you are storing them in a secure place where they won't get scratched or stolen. Um, otherwise, that is how you take the doors and tops off the 2020 Jeep Gladiator. To learn more about the 2020 Jeep Gladiator, stop by ID Chrysler in Bismarck or visit us online at idchrysler.com.